Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com and my washi tape is out of control. This year, I am taking a much slower, more thoughtful approach to really getting my craft studio organized. I've always been a pretty organized person, but in 2023, there was a million things going on with my business and this, and even moving into this craft studio. It was just crazy. And while it looks okay when you walk in, I know that there's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't belong. There's a lot of things that need to get reorganized. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to approach some of the different supplies in my craft studio, some of the different areas and get it organized, get it cleaned out. And I thought I would bring you all along with me. Today, I am working on my washi tape wall. I love my washi tape wall. It is one of my favorite features in my craft studio. It feels like a store. It just, it's so much fun to look at and to like shop my own wall, but it is so full um, that it's overwhelming. Washi tape is like overflowing everywhere. There's just so much stuff on that wall. So here is what I need to do. I need to take all of the washi tape off the wall, which feels crazy, but I'm going to do it anyway. I need to go through my washi tape. I need to decide what I want to keep. I need to do a little bit of reorganizing because I have a new love for PET tapes. And right now they're up super high um, where I can't grab them. And that's not my favorite. So I'm going to get that organized it's going to be a little bit of a journey. So I thought I would bring you all along with me. I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration for organizing your space, organizing your washi tape. Let's hang out and uh, get our spaces in order. Step one is removing all of this washi tape. And that was quite the task because of course my goal was to keep things in order. Did I drop rolls of washi tape? Sure I did. They rolled all over this craft studio. It was a little bit of a crazy endeavor, but for the most part, I just took small little sections, kind of pressed them together and put them over on my long table. I think a lot of times when you are reorganizing or when you're destashing, it really is important to start with a clean slate. I could have just gone through with the washi tape on the wall and picked out rolls and things like that, but taking it all off and then having to put it all on for me was a really good realization of exactly how much washi tape I had because I had to handle all of these rolls. Um, and it just was a great way to get my, get my head wrapped around what was there, how everything would fit back on. And for me, I also knew that I wanted a big rearrangement of where everything was going to go. So I wanted my PET tapes at the bottom of these acrylic shelves because I want to grab for them more often. I had them at the top, which was an easy place to put them because um, I could grab them. I could just lift them up, but I wanted to use them more often. And so having them low at eye level when I'm sitting at my craft desk was pretty darn important. So once I had everything out, I had to pull out some bins of washi that I had. I had to pull out washi drawers. All of the washi is out, ready to be gone through. Okay, so that was a little stressful. Here are all of my Rum Rum PET tapes. Craziness. That is the washi tape shop back there. Those are some seasonal tapes. I know I have some more that need to go in there. And then this is kind of my rainbow category. So what I'm gonna do, I know I want the PET tapes at the bottom. I know some of them are seasonal, so I need to remove those and kind of put those in a different category. We're gonna to start to put things back on, but first I'm going to add some extra shelves to my wall. We're gonna go up even higher. Let's talk about these acrylic shelves. I get questions about them all of the time. I picked mine up off of Amazon. I will try to link them below, although they come in and out of stock. 
They are actually created for nail polish. You might see them all the time in nail salons, things like that. Um, they're nail polish acrylic shelves. Um, so you can search for them on Amazon, but I will warn you when you search for them, make sure that the width at the bottom, the base of the shelf is at least two inches. Most of them are somewhere below that, like an inch and a half, which fits great for nail polish bottles, but does not fit a lot of different washi tapes. Most, most washi tapes, you need a little bit more room in there so that you can grab the washi tape or else it just sits high up on the shelf. It just doesn't work quite right. So just a heads up, if you are looking for acrylic shelves on Amazon um, or just around, you know, if you see them in home goods, something like that, you want to make sure that they are the right depth, um, which for me, I discovered was about two inches. I'm super thankful that my husband was home on this particular day when I was deciding to uh, reorganize. He helped me anchor these into the wall. Um, they are not holding a ton of weight. They probably could have survived without anchors, but I always um, kind of err on the side of safety. I just didn't want things just crashing down. That would be a very... Um, unpleasant thing to come back to, to a whole entire uh, wall of washi tape on the ground. No, thank you. So he's helping me anchor. We're going all the way up to the ceiling and yes, it's super high. I am six feet tall. So for the most part, I can actually reach up there when I'm on my tiptoes. Uh, you'll see me in just a little bit uh, getting on a chair just to be extra safe. But this is just going to kind of maximize my storage. I'm not going down any lower not adding lower shelves because I do like having space in between my card catalog and my washi so that I can put things on that particular card catalog. Also, I will always suggest when someone is trying to maximize their creative space to use the vertical space. Even if you are vertically challenged, you can still use that space and just keep a step stool or store things that you're not getting to very often up higher. Um, that's often a good solution in underutilized space in a room. Certainly there are limitations and not everyone can do that, but if possible for you, look vertical, see what space you can capture that is a little bit higher up than you may normally go for. And I think it will make a big impact and really improve the space management in your craft studio. All right, here's where we stand. My husband added four more shelves up there. Yes, that probably seems crazy, but keep in mind that I'm six feet tall, so I can reach all the way up there. I just won't put the uh, washi tape I use most often up there. So I have more shelving space. I'm gonna start with my PET tapes. We're gonna go through them, get them on the shelves, sort them, seasonal ones I'm going to leave out. I'm going to put those in a different place. And then we're going to move over to all of this business and start going through. We're going to de-stash because that's important to do as you are organizing. We're going to start getting things back up on these shelves. Wrong Wrong has released so many PET tapes uh, in 2023. It has been crazy and I have been loving them. If you are wondering what PET tape is, Basically, these are stickers on a roll, on a long roll of tape. You're going to have repeated stickers. I love them because they're individually cut stickers. You get a ton of stickers on that roll. They are perfect for journaling. Stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing some more uh, journaling entries, daily planner entries. They're just so versatile. I've really, really, really been enjoying the PET tapes, and I think they don't take up quite as much room as a ton of sticker books. Yes, I have a ton of PET tapes. I'm going to fill up uh, three. I could fill up three solid rows of PET tape right here. I'm actually going to spread it out a little bit, knowing that there is probably more coming. When you are organizing your space, when you're um, organizing a supply, I always like to leave a little bit of room to grow, especially for things like washi tape and stickers. Those are going to come in and out of your craft space repeatedly. It's really, really hard to just say, I'm never going to buy washi tape ever again. Um, that's a hard thing to do. I know there's some coming in and out, which is why I do have to periodically go through and clean out my washi tape de-stash because some will come in and out and I want to be able to account for that. So I'm going to just work my way through these shelves, adding in the uh, PET tapes first, and then we will start to conquer the washi.
I decide what washi tape was going to go on the topper? Well, I put the washi tape that I did not use quite as often. I like to organize my washi by color, which you will see later, but I do have certain groups that are together. I have a whole um, set of washi tapes from the Happy Planner, several different ones of those. I have washi tapes from uh, no white space stickers. I have those all together. And then some of my washi tapes, like my Jane Davenport washi tapes I keep together, I just have certain categories. Otherwise, I organize by color. So you'll see metallics come in. And then I like to keep it in as much of a rainbow as possible. To me, setting up items as if it looked like a store makes them more enticing to use. And I do want to put an emphasis on using my washi tape this year. I'm planning on using it every week in my faith planner. I'm using it in my daily planning. I'm just using it all over the place. So you're going to see a lot of different washi tapes. And when I'm able to glance over and just see them, for me, seeing things, it makes a big difference. I'm able to use them a whole lot more. Not all the washi tape did make it back on to the washi tape shelves though. Washi tape actually can go bad. The sticky adhesive part of the washi tape can wear out over time. So some of these rolls I know are older. Some of them were almost done. Some of them I have not used in years. So what I'm doing right now is going through sets of washi tape. I'm discarding ones that I don't plan to use. And then I'm putting the ones that I am going to keep and use back on the shelf. That leads to the inevitable question of what am I going to do with all of the washi tape that I am discarding? Well, I do have three kids that do like arts and crafts, and so they will probably have fun with some of this washi tape. You can always try to donate craft supplies. You can donate them to schools, to churches, to women's shelters. There's all kinds of places that may want your art supplies. You can also donate them to thrift stores, Salvation Army, Goodwill, places like that. They will often bag them up almost as grab bags to resell in their stores, which is a fabulous find for another crafter that might be thrift shopping. But in the end, don't let a lack of ability to donate be the reason you don't clean out your space. If it doesn't belong in your space, it might just be time to toss it in the trash, which hurts my stomach to say because this is fabulous washi tape that I have spent money on and I don't want to just trash supplies, but I know by discarding these washi tapes, I'm going to use what I have so much more. Now you see that I have space to grow. I have space to easily add rolls. These are newer rolls that I have from the Stationery Pal. It's easy to see and put them in the right colors. I have space for additional PET tapes that I'm sure will be coming into my craft studio uh, throughout 2024. It makes a difference. So just because you don't quite have a place to donate them or an easy place to donate them, don't let that discourage you from just getting in there and de stashing. Sometimes you can just keep a big box and take it all at once to uh, a school, a church, an art center, something like that, a community center. There's all kinds of places that may want to use these supplies. And if they turn you down, then it might be time to just throw them away, 
you can do it. It'll be okay. I know it feels a little bit like a waste, but using up rolls of washi tape takes a really long time. The last step, these are all washi tapes that I had sitting on my counter. Most of them are from the washi tape shop, which I love. I have some seasonal washi tapes right here that I'm reorganizing. I'm going to have a box for fall and a box for holiday. Those are going to be kept separate from my washi tape shelves because I'll pull them out at the appropriate season. Um, and then I need to go through all of my tapes from the washi tape shop. Some of them I will be keeping, some of them I will be discarding. These are also fabulous for or journaling. Um, similar to the PET tapes from Rong Rong Devo, there's a lot of individual stickers. There's great coordinating sets. They're just wonderful for setting up your journal. I just have so many. So it was time to kind of uh, discard some and then just remind myself of what I had and uh, remind myself that I can, in fact, use all of these beautiful supplies. I can have fun with them. I can create with them. I just need to remember what I have. So taking the time just to go through your supplies, even if you don't end up destashing a bunch, I think is still really valuable, especially this time of year as you're probably cleaning up from holiday and kind of resetting your space anyway. Take some time to remind yourself of the beautiful supplies that you have acquired acquired over the past year. through those tapes I'm just going to store these boxes back originally I put them back on the lower shelf where I had them before I think I'm probably going to end up moving them up just because I tend to not see them when they are down there but because they're in these boxes they are easy to move and relocate here is my final washi organization I got rid of over a hundred rolls of washi and I have just cleaned out my washi recently it was a lot, but a couple of things I'm really pleased about. First, I still like the organization system I had in place, but no matter how great your organization is, you do have to declutter every now and then. So that was something that needed to happen. Obviously I have some room to grow now, which is awesome because I know that there will be more washi tapes coming through my craft room for sure. I like that I moved these up here so I can see them. When they were down low, I tended not to grab for those and I don't want to forget that they are there. So I like that they're up here. These pieces that I've moved farther down, those are things I didn't grab for very often anyway. So why not move them down so that I have a little bit more room for things I'm looking for on a regular basis, which is why I kept my paper made flare pens up there. I kept my memory book up there. Love how it came out. Thank you so much for joining me today as I cleaned out my washi, did some de-stashing, and did some reorganization. I'm feeling super great about it, and I'm glad to have checked off another section of my craft studio. Stay tuned. I'm going to have a whole series. I've done my desk. I've done my washi, and you'll have to stay tuned to see what comes next. I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. We are taking the month of January to reset recharge and get ready for 2024. It's never too late to join us over there. It's an amazing crafty community and you'll love it. I promise. So check out the link in the description box below so you can um, see what perks are offered over on Patreon and maybe start your seven day free trial today. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.